I was off uh, Hard Bay in a huge, in huge weather, massive swells, and I saw this fishing boat uh, coming in from offshore there, and it was running diagonally down the swells, and it, as it was going over the swells, it was steering all over the place, and the crew were hanging over the transom to try and balance it. And I looked at this boat and I thought, whoa, that is a recipe for disaster in our kind of waters. So I've been putting this design together in my mind and my concept was to have um, a hull with a very full bow. So you, even though you're going down a, a swell at a heck of an angle, the bow will always be picked up and, you, and it won't bow steer. It has to be a boat that looks after itself with minimal driver input and it proved to be absolutely 100% correct. I have a photograph somewhere of Mahmoud and myself putting the deck on the first rib that we built and you know we both look like children <laughs> it was so long ago and that boat is now 34 years old and it's still going strong. The place at first was just a place for one or two months now there's place for 20, 30 miles. That was a five meter at that time that we were building. Uh, we are building 10.6 and the bigger boats and small boats. So it's a big difference coming through the years, working with different kind of people and all that. Now I got my son that's also working for me uh, in the fiberglass section. I was in the inflatable boat department in the Navy for my national service and I delivered a yacht overseas to England and while I was there I went and did a course and an apprenticeship at an inflatable manufacturer in the UK and came back and the following year I I'd started Gemini. Less than a hundred boats had ever been sold in South Africa. Us and various other companies created the market because of the products we make, they have proven themselves time and again to be the best for the job. A couple of benefits are that, um, of being in South Africa is that the labor cost is low, probably costs are low, etc. We also aligned time zone wise with Europe and we're not too far off with the States and we're not too far off with Australasia. So we are in the perfect position. One of the advantages over here is that we have pretty extreme weather off our coast and the ports are, and the safe havens are few and far between. You better get a boat that can take it, take the weather, take the knock, just get to your home come what may. And our Gemini's core value is seaworthiness of the, of the boat and hardiness. The boats have to get to your home.